Testing, testing, is this thing on? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, we have a new mic, which I wanna use in the garage, so hopefully we get some better audio. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to get into today's project because it's very majorly inspired by spring, which means winter is almost over, and this time of year is usually when I start to get re-inspired, especially with my decor. As a creator and someone who DIYs for a living, I feel like lately I've just been pushing myself to do a lot of trendy pieces, which don't get me wrong, I still really love, but this week I just wanted to bring it back to why I started DIYing in the first place, which was just to have fun and create something beautiful. Last week when I worked on my DIY IKEA candle, I just really fell in love with the process and I kind of want to get back to that feeling. Sometimes when I'm working on all these projects, everything just flies by so quickly and this week I just want to slow down, take time to create something beautiful and truly just feel re-inspired again. I'm sure a lot of you can relate and are probably getting out of the winter blues, so I hope this video inspires you to create something beautiful. I've been really needing to add some storage solutions to our house because I feel like there's a lot of open solutions like the one I have behind me, but not everything in my home looks beautiful and needs to be on display all the time, so I want to find some closed storage and I thought this would be a great opportunity to create something super colorful and fun and bold. Especially in our garage, it's supposed to be my work Workshop where I feel the most inspired but whenever I walk in there I kind of like dread it because of how boring it is. So I had an idea to create a little station in there where I just start my days off and hopefully it will inspire me and I think you could totally create something similar in an entryway or in your office. And of course I want to try to find something secondhand so let's check out Facebook Marketplace and see what we can find. So this may or may not fit our car so let's see. <laughs> Okay. It'll go, it's yeah. For that YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna refinish this. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so I gotta give you cash. So now we have to sit <laughs> super close. Good thing it's not too far away from our house. Honestly, I love these type of adventures because, like, look where we're at. Like, this is kind of like a mechanics slash. Yeah, it's like a mechanics workshop, like a bunch of them together. <laughs> He basically said his mom is cleaning up their house yeah. and getting rid of a bunch of stuff. The real question is how do we get out of here? I don't know. I genuinely think we gotta reverse out of here. Wait, really? Yeah. And you can't see? Well, we'll see. I think we have a backup cam. Who else cannot drive without a backup cam these days? Like, I'm so glad that our old car had one. We were reversing for quite a while. It's honestly just so cool that we get to give these a second life, AKA Tina gets to bring so much more beauty and life into this. Yeah, it's so funny because he saw me filming and he was like, is this for YouTube? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna refinish it. And then he's like, yeah, this is perfect for it because it's pretty lightweight. And I like that it is wood, but it's not like a super vintage piece where you feel like if you're painting it, you're like ruining like historic piece or something like yeah. that. So this is perfect. And I might have to reconfigure where we're actually putting it in the house, but it's here and it's safe. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. My mom said that she had something similar like this yeah. in Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah, we don't have no closet. Yeah. I'm just filming yeah, yeah, yeah. my whole family's <laughs> helping. That's good. Yeah. Here she is you guys. This is actually a lot taller than I thought it would be. The guy told me 75 inches, which I didn't realize is like well over six feet. I can't believe I found this for $75 because it's exactly what I was looking for. You can tell this is not a super vintage piece. It looks like a piece from like the 90s or the 2000s. And there's just enough character on this that it's not too boring. So the front is a little bit curved. I love that there are legs on this. And then we also have this top part that extends a little bit. And I love that there is just a little bit of detail there. I could definitely see why they got rid of it 
because there is quite a bit of damage on here, but it's nothing that we can't fix with a little bit of paint and sanding. Once we open it up though, it is actually really nice inside. The shelves are all adjustable so I can unscrew them and move them however I want. There's also a spot right here where you can hang a rod. So if you want to turn this into a wardrobe, you totally can. And there's also paneling in the back, which I think I just want to keep. It looks so beautiful that I don't really want to touch it. So hopefully with the design I'm thinking of, it will work well with the wood. I'm already thinking of all the ways that I could use this. Like I could put my apron up here. I can put paints in here. And every time I open it, I feel like I'm just going to feel so inspired because right now, if you look around the workshop, it is totally a huge mess and I just want to get everything together. And I feel like this is the perfect piece to start that. Now let's go ahead and give her a good scrub down because she definitely has that musty thrift store smell. Can you believe that this whole project idea came about because I lost my apron once? I don't currently have a designated spot for it. So I thought, why not just build a home for it? Usually when I'm flipping furniture, I'm only painting it one color, but with this, I want it to be more creative, let my imagination flow, and let it do whatever felt right. This armoire is going to have space for my apron, my DIY sketchbook, and basically be like a little workstation office within my workshop. This is going to be a part of my DIY routine before I start a project, and my goal really is just to walk up to it every day, look at how colorful it is, and feel inspired to kickstart my day on a high note. The office is back in order. My parents are gone now. We had the best weekend ever and now it's time to get back to work. So I pulled up my Pinterest board so you guys can take a look at what I'm thinking about for this piece. Lately, I've been so inspired by painted furniture, kind of like folk art paint or something like this where it's just two different colors and I've seen people do kind of crazier things with different borders and designs. This one is a bit more geometric, so there are a lot of options on what you could do with just paint. I definitely want to do florals, so I looked up the different flowers from California, Illinois, Vietnam, Mexico, Hawaii, all the places that I've been to and that I love, and I'm going to try my best to put it all into a cohesive design, so I hope that it will turn out right. I have a vision in my head, but executing it is totally a different ballgame game so hopefully we can make it come to life but before we can do that I'm gonna have to paint the entire thing so let's go do that first It is time for lunch, which means my Hungry Root Box just got here. I'm so excited because they have some really good recipes in here this week. They are also so kindly sponsoring this video. So thank you Hungry Root for stocking my fridge and keeping me fed and actually allowing me to cook really quick meals because when I'm doing all these projects, sometimes I just don't have time to dedicate to meal planning and cooking, and this is honestly the perfect solution. So if you haven't heard of Hungry Root before, it is the easiest way to get groceries and also super simple recipes delivered right to your door. I really love it because they get to know you based on the quiz that you take when you get started. So they learn how you like to eat and what you like to cook at home, and each box is customized and you can add or remove things so you get exactly what you want. For me, cooking is DIYing because you're making something, but sometimes I just don't know what to make, so this 
meal plans for me. And this recipe card basically lays everything out for me. So this week we're having Korean barbecue chicken with broccoli and rice. I'm also totally a dumpling person. So when I saw that they had chicken dumplings with veggies and dipping sauce, I had to choose it. And it's literally so easy to make. I'm actually so excited because for this recipe, we are using Omsom, which is a brand that I've been following for a while. So now I get to actually try their sauce. This is actually an Asian American owned business. So I'm excited to support and try their sauce. More snacks because I need all the snacks for daytime and nighttime and all the time in between. And here we have the chicken dumplings. So I'm gonna make that right now. And I'm also gonna share a 40% off code for you guys. This smells so good, you guys. Let's do a first bite. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of veg. Mmm, I'm definitely ordering this again. So you can tap on my link below to try Hungry Root and use my code TINALAY40 for 40% 40 off of your first order in the next 72 hours, plus you get a free gift. So definitely check it out and I hope you guys enjoy. Mm -mm -mm. We're primed and ready to roll, pun intended. So I'm gonna paint this two different colors. We have this beautiful, like really rich, deep golden color for the inside panels. That's gonna go on these fronts over here. And then we also have this giant bucket. If you watch my office makeover, then you know that I bought a whole gallon of this knowing that I would probably have a lot left over to work with. So today is the day that we are going to use it. I'm going to paint the whole entire thing, including the inside of the doors, this beautiful, burgundy wine red color. I honestly can't get enough of this color. I feel like it's the color of the year. It's so bold and definitely adds a richness no matter where you put it. So I feel like if we put it here in the garage, it's going to look amazing. I'm keeping this project as cost effective as possible because I'm only using paints that I already have. Plus I bought one more of these just in case we run out. I know some people might be worried about using house paints on furniture, but I've done it in the past and it's totally fine. I feel like other people have had the same experience as well. And as long as you prep and prime and top coated afterwards, we should be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna start with the inside of the door first, then go inside here, and then do the whole outside. Um, so I accidentally closed this and ripped my tape handles off. So now I can't open this. Ah, Almost there. Oh my gosh. Okay, show of hands, how many of you are on board with this color trend? Because personally, I think it's such a classic color and it's gonna go well with and also kind of clash with other colors and I think that's what makes it look more interesting. If you've heard of the unexpected red theory, then you know what I'm talking about. It's an interior design theory which basically says that adding in a pop of red instantly improves the look of any space, especially in places where it shouldn't really make sense. Somehow it just works. So I kept the tray that I used for this paint and also the brush in the fridge this whole time wrapped up just in case I had to do any touch-ups afterwards which I actually didn't end up needing but now it's perfect because I can actually use this for this piece. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? So whether it's a bright pop of red or a more muted mahogany red like this, you can really add it anywhere in your home with something small like a ceramic dish or you could do something as large as an armoire like this and really make it a moment. Good morning, you guys. It is a really big day today because we are wallpapering and we're also painting today. So I have a lot of work ahead of me, but I wanna show you guys the wallpaper because I honestly am in love with it. But first we have to see what random sticker we got today. So this one is a unicorn. If someone can explain to me why they include these in all my wallpaper orders, please let me know. A lot of you loved the wallpaper that I used in the bathroom and I feel like this is like the more colorful sister version of it. 
It has these birds, clouds, mountains, these beautiful bridges on it. This is a color combo that I've been seeing a lot of lately and I thought this was just so perfect to try it out in this cabinet. And also when I did the bathroom, I put up a poll asking if you guys preferred peel and stick or pasted wallpaper and a lot of people actually answered that they haven't tried wallpaper before at all. I honestly was so surprised, but also I don't blame you guys because wallpaper is kind of a big commitment once you put it up. So if you haven't tried wallpaper before, but if you would like to, I think doing it on a small piece of furniture like this is such a great way just to try it out for the first time. You do the inside of the doors like I am or even line some shelves or drawers with it. There are so many different ways you can use wallpaper. For me, it's an instant serotonin booster because you're literally looking at a piece of artwork every single time you look at the furniture piece or open it up. So I would highly, highly recommend. First panel is done. She is a beaut. And do you guys see what I'm talking about when you probably wouldn't think to put burgundy and like a light blue like this together, but somehow they just work. with these doors. So my original plan was to wrap the insides on the side here as well, but I ran out of wallpaper and it is sold out. So I don't even know when I'm able to get more. So I'm just gonna paint it for now, but know that in the future, I will be wrapping it with the same wallpaper because I think it'll look so much better. Learn from my mistakes, guys, because I've done this way too many times where I underestimate how much wallpaper I actually need. Always buy more. It is time to paint and I just spent maybe like two hours taking a break because I always get so nervous before I paint something because this is very permanent. But the good thing about paint is that if I do mess up, I can always paint over it. So I did have a couple of different options that I was mocking up. This is kind of what I want to end up with and I did so many different iterations. I kind of went crazy with it because this really helps me like figure out what I actually want to do with something before I commit. So. I thought about doing like a tiny little pattern around the whole entire thing, but I just thought that was too busy. I also thought about doing a big circle in the middle and then some branches and little flowers and stuff, but I felt like I was just overcomplicating it. So I think the best plan is just to go with my gut. I want this to give kind of the same vibe as this cabinet and the colors of my cabinet definitely are inspired by that. I think that for whatever reason, after I put all the colors on here, it was very much giving like Gryffindor house and it looked very regal and classic. So I definitely want to make sure that it's still true to my style. And I know once I put my design on, it's going to look so much different. So I honestly don't know if the chalk marker was the best choice because it was blending in with the paint after I went over it but it did also help in a sense because I probably would have had to do a layer of white underneath anyways so definitely keep that in mind if you try this project out. I usually put a lot of pressure on myself especially when it comes to creating artwork because it just feels so permanent especially when you do it on furniture but this time around I really tried to let go of that and just have fun with it. So originally I thought I was going to include a ton of different flowers to create a pattern, but after doing the wallpaper, I just felt like it was going to look way too busy. So instead I'm making the doors have their own moment with some lotus flowers, which are definitely symbolic in my life. They definitely are one of my favorite flowers to draw and paint, and I just love how the pink pops against the yellow. I was losing track of time when I was doing this project because I could totally get lost in painting for hours, which by the way, it did take me like six to seven hours to paint this because I had to do multiple layers. And there were moments where I just stopped and took a step back and really looked at it. And I just felt so happy that I was finally trying something that I've had on my DIY bucket list forever. Okay, pro tip you guys, whenever you're painting, make sure to have your pinky up, especially if you're working vertically, and then basically use it to stabilize your finger. Oh my God, I have to repaint that. If I'm painting here, I like to have my pinky down and then use that to stabilize my finger so I can get a smooth brush stroke. Just like that. How close are you to my face? It looks great so far. It's only gonna take me an eternity more, but it'll be worth it.
You guys, I definitely stayed up way too late past my bedtime last night to finish this, but I must say I'm pretty proud of it. I mentioned this earlier, but it looks so traditional with these colors that adding in the pink and the bright pop of orange is really making it come to life. I still want to add some little star details up here, so I'm going to do that. And today I also have to add on the knobs as well as the hooks and lighting and also the shelves. And then this is going to be ready to be used as a workstation. I have to show you guys these knobs because they are just so dainty. This one is like a cherry blossom inspired flower. Originally, I did want to add cherry or apricot blossoms to this piece, but I just thought it was so busy. So incorporating it as a knob might work better. And then this one definitely has a more vintage feel. I've never done a knob like this where it's basically like a little ring pull. This one also is a floral detail. So I think it ties in really nicely with the whole theme of the cabinet. I don't know which one to choose though. Let's test them both out and see how we feel. Okay, so option number one and option number two. Oh, they give off such a different vibe. Both of these look really great. I think it just comes down to what kind of vibe you're going for. If you want a more vintage vibe, definitely this one. I also feel like this one makes it look a little bit more Asian influenced. And if you want a more floral feminine vibe, definitely this one. I think it looks a lot more modern as well. So you really can't go wrong with either one of these. I think I'm gonna wait until the end to choose the final one because this is such a hard choice. Oh no, clean up your spaces guys. Okay, so I want to add a hook to the inside here, but since the wood is pretty thin, I can't really like drill a hook in there. So instead I'm using an adhesive hook and this one looks pretty legit because it has a brass finish to it. But the only issue is you can't put hooks onto wallpaper. So what I'm gonna do is actually trace out a little circle cut the wallpaper out and that way it's sticking directly onto the wood. So that is the solution that you would do if you ever run into this issue. This light makes all the difference and it's already feeling like a little office in here. It's kind of crazy. I feel like I just opened up the garage into a whole new room. I have this first shelf here at a really good height so that I can just write down my ideas and not have to work over there where it's really dusty. Like everything around me looks really chaotic, but here I feel calm and at peace and super creative. I'm adding in some decor, so I'm gonna hang up a picture over here. And then I also have a battery powered light just to add some decor elements, but mostly the lighting is gonna come from these guys, which you guys know I love. no words. This honestly came out way better than I thought it would. I know I say that a lot, but I truly didn't know if this was all going to work together with all the different colors and patterns that I have going on. This seriously feels like a closet to Narnia because it's so different from what the rest of my garage looks like. And now I just want to like redo the whole thing. If you are someone who is tight on space and wants a little standing desk area, like this is so perfect for that. I wish I came up with this idea sooner because I could have used it for so so many other projects when I was planning things out. But I hope this gave you guys some inspo. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about my painting and the wallpaper? I originally wanted to wallpaper the inside here, but now I'm not sure if I need to. Let me know your thoughts on that though. I wanna be in the garage all the time now. If you wanna see more from me and get updates every single day, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I just changed my handle to Tina Lee Mac instead of Tina Doodles, so 
end of an era. I show a lot of behind the scenes over there and this year I'm planning on sharing even more. So make sure you guys follow me over there. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I will see you in the next one. Bye.